Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fleming, and I want to begin this lesson with prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thine mercy, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, so now it is January 21st, it is Thursday, and we are fully remote this week. And we went through our projects already. So what I want you people to do now at home is work on what's called direct observation, which means you're going to try to look at an object and try to draw exactly what you see. It can be anything at all, cups, books, cameras, whatever you like. You just want to put an object in front of you and try to, try to draw it. Now, in this room, I've set up a light source. This direct light source is falling upon my images and that allows um, sh real stark shadows and a, le a lot less confusion. So that might help you out if you want to set up your own light. Um, I'm using charcoal, not pencil, and I have my pencils right here just in case one breaks, and I want to do this drawing in front of you. So let me sure that's up high enough so you can see it. All right. What I'm going to start with, first of all, is just that observation. I'm going to look at the objects. I'm going to bring my eye around each object, the outside line. I'm going to take a minute and just look at my drawing. Look at the objects. Be here before I stop. Next thing I'm going to start with is what's called a contour line. So I'm with that roll of paper towels out there. I'm going to go down here to my coffee cup. And there's the brick behind it. There is the triangle on top of the brick. The brick comes out a little bit goes down a little bit and there is my handle to the um, arc of that watering can. There's the bump and I think that handle is going to have to go off the page and that's okay. You want to keep your proportions right. I'm at the bottom of the watering can. I'm coming around and there is that box so that wood object in front of it. Looks like a pedestal of some sort. There's the cup behind it, and there's that roll of paper and towels, and that paper goes out. All right, so that's called a contour line. That is just the outside line of all the objects. Doing that first really helps get my proportions down. Now, you could also go in there and put tone, really kind of establishing that positive and negative space. Um, that helps me, but it's not for everyone. Um, I like putting the atmosphere in there, and so I have a little something going. So I have a positive and negative space. Now I'm going to try to go in and create some details. Again, I'm going to start over here at that roll of paper towels and try to get that top. We've done perspective drawing, and we know the oval shape. I'm going to try to pay attention to our light going in there. I want to work on my line for right now. And get that cup. And with the top of the coffee cup. And again, I can see the top of the lid. It's a little off the surface. There's the lip of the cup that falls around the edge. And that goes straight down. And there's my coffee cup. And there's the object in front, that pedestal, that wood. And again, I want to work on my proportions. I'll go in and get the shading and the details later. Right now, I want to make sure that all my proportions are down first, and then I'll get my details. All right, and there's my watering can. Get that coffee cup edge established before I go any further. Here's my lip. That goes around. That is tapered. And there's the top of it right there. All right now, I'll go back to that watering can. Here's the handle that sits in front of the brick. That's going around. Remember, it's not flat. It's got dimension to it. Pay attention to the light. We're going to go back and get our details. Right now, I want to get my shapes in there. Here's the top of that watering can. I'm going to break it down to a rectangle first. And then I'll try to smooth out the edges later. Here's the side to it. That's going back into space. And here is my spout, my spigot. That goes up. It can go right off the page. 
just want to get to keep the proportions. And then there is the top of my can. There's the brick back there. This is the last object. And there's my pyramid shape up top. All right, so now I've got my basic line work, my shapes worked out. Um, I started with the contour line, I went to my line work, and now I'll start going into some of my shading. Again, I'm going to start on this side of the page first. And don't feel like you have to be um, getting a final draft right away. What you want to do is draw a lot and get good at looking at the objects, getting your tones in there, then working on your details. Be careful of that coffee cup, okay? I know the cover looks black, but it really has a lot of highlights onto it. shapes let's go over that brick in the background notice how dark that space is behind that brick and the top is very illuminated there is my triangle. Get that space around it a little bit darker. And here is that handle which sits in front of that brick. And here is the side. go into that watering can. Just make sure you guys can see me. Um, I do like doing demonstrations, but there's no substitute for you to get in front of an object and try to draw exactly what you see. Um, this one tends not to be the favorite project, but if you apply to art schools, doesn't matter which one, Mass Art, Pratt, Rhode Island School of Design, I promise you that you'll have at least one, probably more than one, direct observation required. So all my classes do this because it's just something that art schools want to see. They want to see you sit in front of an object and try to render exactly what you see. Um, there's a lot of reasons for this <laughs> and you can complain about it but it's a reality. <laughs> they really do like to see you use your eyes explore the universe and see exactly what you see. Science and art have the same first step, observation. I'm sure me drawing in front of you is thrilling. <laughs> um, I do think it's important you have a demonstration, but the demonstration really is to show you what I expect you to do. Now this, I'm trying to keep to 10 minutes, 
And there is my drawing I've done in 10 minutes. There is the object in front of me. I want to draw exactly what I see. Now this is, a, this is really just a sketch. This is not something I would put in my portfolio. You should plan on doing 10, 20, 30 of these before you're going to get a good one. The trick is to spend time in front of an object drawing. Not from your imagination, not from a photograph, but direct observation. That's what we're working on next. So please spend some time in that sketchbook. Keep in mind, I'm expecting five hours a week in that sketchbook. Not just the projects, but your own drawing. Direct observation is a very good way to fill that sketchbook up. So remember to make art because art won't make itself.